Page 175, Your Grace is Enough. 4-4 four, four time, in the key of G major, one sharp. Well, again, we got syncopated rhythms going on, so the right hand at the beginning. Come in on the and of one. One and. One and. It's one four here. A lot of numbers in there. Huh? So it's one and two and three and four and one. Finally on beat four you get to play on the beat. The others are between the beat. One and two and three and four and one. And that rhythm is all over the place. Different notes maybe, but that rhythm is there. Let's go down the second line where the verse starts. Same thing. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Then you got a whole note and you get to rest. Of course it's tied so you get to rest a long time. Last line on page 175. You're here on beat one. One and two and three and four and your fingering is fine, then you get a rest so you can move up. One five, and you can do a one five again if you want, and then a one three, or you can do a one five, one four, and a one two. I like that better. I like one. I want to feel that. Can't really say it's melody because the melody it's this uh, this is in between. The melody ended with a whole note, that G, and this is kind of a. a uh, afterthought to the next. So if you want to bring out the top note, fine. Otherwise, don't. On page 176, then it continues with the same stuff we've already had. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and. Watch their fingering here. They changed it. Last measure, first line. One and two and three and four. One and that's tied over. I go down to the third line. Second measure, you're here here at the first measure, and you're gonna lift up. It's the end of a phrase, so you just lift up and move up. And then you're here. One and two and three and four and and for the next measure I recommend a one four and a one three. I'm, I wanna feel this melody. three fingers and the thumb covers the other stuff. Third line down on page 176. Third line, third measure after the double bars. One, four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and... and that's repetitious. You get that. Then go up to the top of page 177 where the chorus starts. The, the two quarter notes in front of it are here. And then here, it's fine, I hope. And then the fingering is one, three, five for the half note. And they're saying here, and then a four on the B, and one, two, three. That's fine. So the rhythm, starting with a half note. One and two and three and four and one, and that's tied. Two and three and four. Now this is a stretch here, the second measure, second line. You can use the four on the B, just know that you gotta come down here. And this stretch is actually used in piano. Don't shy away from it. If your hand's big enough, you can do that four and here. Otherwise, you gotta use the five. Now if you're going to use a five on that eighth note, here on the B, then I recommend for the note in front of that, the chord, that you do a one, two, four. And we're not using five on every note. Here and then four and then a five. So the half note is here and then you could do a one, four and now you a five is what I would recommend. And then for the last two notes on that line, go ahead and use the thumb and the little finger for that. And then you do it again. Now for the third line down, you finger it the same way as, as you did in the first line. So it's here, and then a five again, and then a four, three. Like so. 
and then a f their fingering is fine. For the last line on page 177, you're here, and then just come down. The song is actually over, but this is like a coda, it's just an afterthought. So one, three, five, two, four, and you can do a two, four, or three, four, or one, four, or whatever you want to do. And then a one on the A, and then a two, five for the last chord. Connect the A and that. Now the left hand, keep it soft at the beginning. Second major, one and two and three and four and one. Next line, one and two and three. Bring the thumb under. Play it all legato. Third line, first note is with second finger, one and two and three and four and to do a four a five four five just because I like to use different fingers on repeated notes I don't all the time sometimes now when you get to the top of page 177 they're saying five there I disagree but the last measure on page 176 you're here you basically have been in this position you're moving around somewhat here but the last measure of page 176 you're in this position. I recommend you just stay in this position. So when you get to the top of page 177, use third finger rather than five on the same. Just stay here. And then you here. And then the last measure, you're still in position to go on. Second line, last measure of this page 177. That is not an octave, because you've been playing octaves on these things. But there, that's not an octave. That's an E. you got to reach up. The, not, not a C, an E. They trick you. For one, I don't know why exactly they don't want a C. They don't want a C. Okay, fine, we won't do a C if you... For the last measure on the page, I recommend a 5-2. Then attempt to put the hands together. Once you have them worked out, and we got this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. See right there, that half note comes on three right after you play the, the right hand. Again, the second line, second measure. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and. And you're gonna get this rhythm all over the place. Let's go down to the last line. You're here. One and two. Jump over to page 176, third line down. I'm starting with the pickup beats, the two quarter notes to the third measure. Here. One and two and three and four and one. And that rhythm repeats itself for a while. I'll go up to page 177 at the top where the chorus starts, the two quarter note pickup. one there on the page 77 third line down second measure in the left hand if you can if your hands big enough use fourth finger on that last note so you can get to the C on the next one if it's not big enough you got to use little finger and on both but it's just better to use four if you can there now this is a real choppy we got to smooth it out so we're gonna use pedal legato pedal not a lot of moving around 
with 16th notes and stuff. So for the most part it's going to be legato pedal all the way and you're either going to change it once each measure or once every two beats depending on how blurry it's getting. So the notes go down first and then the pedal follows them and each time I change the pedal which is let it up and down it'll happen after I play the notes. So at the beginning we're here push it down, the key down first and then the pedal. One. Starting with the verse, I'm going to recommend go ahead and change it every half note along with the left hand. So starting with the verse. In the third line you can hold it down for both measures. measure on page 175. So that last measure, hold it down for the first two beats and then change on the third and change on the fourth and then go on. And then the first line last measure, I'm changing it every two beats because I want to clear this out. I don't want all of that. So. times when I get these with eighth notes I might let up on the like I don't pedal the first eighth note it just it's less blurry and it goes by it's a personal thing you'll have to decide there's nothing wrong with pedaling it because it goes by so fast you don't notice it's just a habit of mine when I see that I, I typically don't pedal the first eighth note when it changes like that. On the second line, first measure, second line, pedal the whole measure, and then back to every two beats. And the third line, second measure, or the first two measures, pedal across, and then here, every two beats. Chorus, top of page 177, last measure. Now, third line down there on the last measure, change it on that measure. So the last two measures is here. Is there's a diminuendo there and you're going to get softer so we want to lose that sound so change the pedal and get rid of all those other notes it helps it to get softer when you do that then you'd repeat that but let's go to the last line is here you can hold it down for the whole measure here line I'm pedaling once each measure really on, a on what that is. Dynamics again I leave it up to you for the dynamics they're not offering much you have to get to know the piece and get into it. Uh, speed wise it says boldly you'll have to decide what that is I can't help you on a lot of this I just is boldly to me well I think I sort of demonstrated it to me what boldly is already I mean it's you're you're proud of what you're saying you're saying hey listen to me here I am type thing. How fast that is? Well, I don't know. So I would like to do it real slowly to double check the notes and the rhythms. I'm not going to do the repeat. I'm just going to play it through. I'll do page 175 and stop, turn the page and then count in again and do the rest of it. But I'm just going to go straight through it one time. Uh, and again, I'm not performing it. I'm going really slow just to check the notes and the rhythms. So I'll give us four counts if you want to play along, at least with the right hand. Go right ahead. One, two, three, four. 
Ready and go. And one and two and three and four and one and two and three and page one and two and ready and go and one and two Next line, four and one and two and three. One, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, off.